So as you can see in the title of this video, we are talking about the Realme 12 Pro Plus 5G, okay? And this is supposedly the best imaging smartphone within 2000 ringgit and also has the largest periscope sensor in the segment. So let's check it out in this video. What's up guys, Jason Smashpop here and in my hand is the brand new Realme 12 Pro Plus 5G and according to them, they have put a lot of heart and passion into making the design and also the camera panel of this phone so I think in this video, let's focus more on these two aspects So when we first look at the back design of the phone, okay, this Realme 12 Pro Plus 5G, it does feel really premium and very luxury. That's also because it is actually a collaborative work, okay, in between Realme Design Studio and also luxury watch designer Olivier Savio. So who is this Olivier Savio? Uh, he is actually a renowned French luxury watchmaker known for collaborations with prestigious Switch watch brands like Rolex and has partnered with Realme to infuse design of the new Realme 12 Pro Plus 5G with elements of luxury watch craftsmanship. So if it's a collaborative design with a watchmaker, you would definitely see some watch designs here, okay? For those of you who are into watches, you will definitely notice them here. At the back, we can actually notice the golden fluted bezel, which looks like a luxury watch bezel, but now it is around the camera panel. If you love watches, you would also love sunburst dial designs, you know, whereby when you rotate the watch, you will actually be able to see the reflection of the light on the dial. And this is actually a very similar design element, whereby if you move the foot a little bit, you will We'll get to see the sunburst design inside the camera panel which is actually very nice and if you look beside the camera panel okay there's a 3d jubilee bracelet design which is the line in the middle of the phone and if you look at it right it looks very premium because it's gold and if you use your finger to touch it you will actually get to feel the texture the whole back is actually made of vegan leather okay so don't worry you are not killing any animals here but you are still getting the same leather texture at the back of this phone which is very premium so based on my experience holding this phone for the past two weeks now i feel that it is very comfortable in the hands and the textured vegan leather actually feels good as well and i feel we don't even need a casing because you know, it feels really good without it. Also, if you are not into this color, don't worry because it comes in two colors, okay? Submarine blue, which is like a darker blue tone on this uh, textured cover, and also navigator beige, which is this color. I personally prefer this because it looks more premium and bright, and we can actually match it with a lot of our outfits. So when it comes to camera, okay, we need to focus on a few things that is not available in other budget phones below 2000 ringgit, okay? So the first thing I want to mention to you, like what I said just now, this thing actually has a 64 megapixel periscope lens, okay? And the sensor is actually very big with half an inch. The bigger the sensor, the more light can go inside, the more light is absorbed and the picture will be brighter and with less noise, okay? Other than that, the zoom is also quite amazing because of the periscope lens now you get three times optical zoom six times lossless zoom and 120 times digital zoom but of course based on my usage let's just keep it to 6x and not push it any further because then your quality will start to degrade and it will be unusable the more you push it okay it's basically just a gimmick lah. like you can take a picture of the moon or whatever but as a person that loves taking pictures, we prefer quality photos than a gimmick photo. So just keep to 6x, okay? Apart from the amazing periscope telephoto camera and also amazing zooms, okay? This phone also comes with cinematic master camera filters co-created with Oscar Wiener. And all these filters are actually inspired by movies like Life of Pi. The curious case of Benjamin Button and Top Gun Maverick. So with all these filters, your photos will look very cinematic and it's almost like looking at a photo straight out of a Hollywood movie. Mm. 
But based on my experience taking photos with the filters, I actually prefer Journey the most. If you scroll, you will actually see Journey the, as the first one in the list. Apart from the amazing zoom okay, that is achieved with the brand new telephoto periscope camera 64 megapixel, this phone also takes amazing portrait photos, okay? And when you turn on portrait mode, you can actually access portrait mode with 1x, which is the main camera, or 3x optical zoom, okay? So 3x optical zoom will actually bring you amazing telephoto portrait photos and you can actually change the depth of field before you take the picture. So you can change how blur the background or the foreground is for your photos. So after taking so many portrait photos with the Realme 12 Pro Plus 5G, I realized that my favorite portrait lens is 3X because with the zoom lens, I can actually bring the background nearer to the subject, which is myself in this case, okay, in this photo. As you can see, the background is actually a lot closer and a lot bigger and the bokeh is also more natural compared to 1X. Other than that, there's also some tricks up its sleeve that makes me feel like, wow, this one is quite amazing. So first thing, okay, when you switch on portrait mode, you can actually change the aspect ratio to cinematic. Cinematic basically means it will turn this uh, ratio into a very wide angle view. It's almost like watching a Hollywood movie without the need of cropping, okay? There's also one thing that I noticed from all the sample pictures. My hair, it's very nicely cut out and separated from the background, okay? So as you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit. See the difference, okay? Without zoom and zoom, you will see that my hair is nicely separated, which is quite amazing and impressive. So apart from two big USBs for this phone, okay, which is the design, and also the camera system that I've already told you about, let's talk about some other features that make this phone amazing, okay? Now the first thing, the screen actually has a 120 hertz curved OLED display, okay? And uh, it's really good for gaming, you know, for watching movies because I've realized that um, the animation is actually very smooth, the color is very deep and the contrast is also very high, okay? So this thing also has a 5,000 mAh big battery for almost, you know, one to two days usage and super Vogue charging at 67 watt. Now, um, if you ask me, should you get this phone? I feel that if you are looking for a phone that is great in taking zoom photos, in taking portrait photos, and if you love luxury watch, I think this is the phone to go. Pricing wise, I don't know the exact pricing, but I only know that this one is supposed to be within the 2000 ringgit range, okay? So if you want to know the exact price, if I know already at the point that you're watching now, it would have already been included in the description below this video. Go check it out, okay? If you love gadgets like this, don't forget to also subscribe to this channel. Click on the subscribe button below this video. Share this video with your friends and follow me on all social platforms. My name is Smashpop and I'll see you in the next video. Yo!